Welcome everybody to my next Splatoon playthrough series. My name is Nuno Marquis and I have improved drastically since I first started Splatoon years and years ago. A little background, I've been playing Splatoon since 2. 2 is when I jumped in, 2 is when I was playing all the Splatfests streaming with you guys years and years ago. For anybody that's new around here, I only just played the Octo Expansion. Those videos are literally super edits on my channel and you can watch them right now. They're organized in a playlist. But from that point, which by the way, I loved the Octo Expansion. I held off playing it for five years because I wanted to record it and make a big project out of it. I don't know why I held off for five years, but it was worth it because now I get the unique experience of going from Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion to Splatoon 3 story and then right into side order. So this is it. I have never played the Splatoon 3 story. I've been, look at all the Splatfests that I've done and all the big runs and all of the extra works and everything. And I have never done the story, but that changes now. Now I shall begin. So thank you for coming along with my journey here. These will be super edits as well. So these episodes will be very long and I will make sure they are organized with proper bookmarks. See you guys in a sec. Sitting here again with a cup of coffee, man. Sitting back, recording Splatoon. Heck yeah. So all of this was, at least what they told us, was it was determined by the final Splatfest that I participated in. Cuttlefish, good to see you again. The Octarians are coming! And look, he's even though he's got the vacation gear and he's got a new cane slash boozler um, and a little PTSD, but we're back. Again! Oh, uh, hi. Did we do this once before? The old noggin ain't what it used to be. Oh, Cuttlefish. It's gonna suck to watch you fade away. The name's Cuttlefish. Senior advisor to the new Squid Beak Splatoon at your service. That look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. The great Zapfish. That powers Splatsville has been kidnapped again? Again. It's the Octarians again. You can bet from the, uh, bet your bottom sand dollar on it. Yeah, I was going to say, we got this thing already. The great zapfish has gone missing before. Twice, in fact. I know. Those octo jerks were behind it both times. I will say that I was, uh, I was pretty impressed. I thought Octavia was going to be behind everything back in uh, Oct Octo Expansion. And it wasn't. It was, a, it was a huge twist. I've been keeping an eye on them, though. I'm technically retired. And with eyes like these, there ain't much that escapes me. But they still made off with the great zapfish, and now we've got to get it back, right? So, uh... That was a job offer, kid. The pay is zero, but you might just save the world. You're in, right? Of course you are. Starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. You can't call me Agent 3. We already have an Agent 3. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Octarians. I am a mix right now. Like, okay, so first off, it is me. That is my my Splatoon hairstyle right there. The single tentacle, you know, the the tentacle hanging off, and that's it. Um, but then I look like a mix of Agent Three and Four together. Is there such thing as something growing in the wash? It's a little baggy on you. Funny, I don't remember ever washing it. Bah! The last Agent Three was clean as a catfish. What happened to him? Or her. What happened to her? What happened to Agent 3? Now, let's go get those oct Octo Clowns. I'm counting on you, bucko. We've got another agent there with you, huh? Well, I'm fresh out of hero suits, unfortunately. But that's a salty little scamp, ain't it? It'll do fine. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Let's go get those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. All right. Well, the crater. The start. Let me just double check, make sure the recording's all good. Everything looks good. All right. I'm going to grab a sip of coffee. All right, let's get right into it. Interesting. I mean, I, I saw the little buddy mechanics, but I, I love that you can just control it like that. Let's look for a way into the Octarian base. I thought out here, Octos and Squidlings, like, I thought we got along. Mind the fuzzy ooze all over the place. I had to try. I, I had to see. Oh, right. I know what'll happen. Floof. <laughs> I mean, as soon as he said, don't touch it, I had to touch it. So, yeah, I thought we were in an area where uh, the Great Turf War was not... All right, here we go. 
Oh, yeah, I thought this... I, okay, now that's a big fu pile of fuzzy ooze. That big old bubble on the top is the fuzz ball. I bet if you could pop that whole thing, would be boof, disappear. See, I let, let, let's worry about that later. For now, let's look for a way to the Octarian's base. I was going to say, I thought uh, wasn't the Splatlands, like this wasn't a part of the theater of war in the Great Ink, or the Turf War, rather. Doesn't look like Ink is doing much. We got anything with more oomph? Check it out. Just like Splatoon. Well, where does that one go, though? Hmm. Oh, cool. Okay. This place could use a shave, huh? Well, let's give it one. Dude, check it out. First level of Splatoon 3. Octarian's in the crater. Yikes. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought the Splatlands weren't in the theater or the Great Turf War. As you guys will note, those load screens will be pretty quick on this recording. Here we go. It's the real deal, Agent 3. All right, so check it out. Straight from the Octo expansion into Splatoon 3, I get to take a take a little bit of a relax here because I would imagine that it's not going to be nearly as difficult as the Octo expansion, which, hey, the Octo expansion wasn't that bad, actually. I, uh, I impressed myself with how well I did. And now, uh, and I can really feel the difference. Going back to Splatoon 2 and then up to Splatoon 3 again, which was funny, by the way. I ended that recording before the Inner Agent 3 stuff, which I completely was caught off guard by. Um, I ended it by playing Turf War in Splatoon 2. And I was like, dude, going back to Splatoon 2 was just, it was fun. Now, unfortunately, I'm recording this at a time that Splatoon 1 is losing its network connectivity. The servers are uh, are officially no longer supported, which, uh, as unfortunate as it is, I mean, at the same time, you know, it's not a huge loss. But um, oh, dude, I have I have freaking splashdowns. I I I mean, yeah, we have splashdowns back at the time of this recording. I mean, like that. This is this is uh, long after they made the addition of splashdowns back. You know, the triple the triple splashdown. But uh, the idea was at the time that this was here, splashdowns were not available in uh, multiplayer. <laughs> Little buddy, that was hilarious. Wow, that crate never stood a chance. So, my question is, am I going to uh, fight Octavio for a third time here? Is, is this all coming back down to that? Or we have another... Go, little bud, go! Alright, so that's going to be my prediction, is that Octavio is going to be behind everything once again. But at the same time, the Octarian army must... They've, they've got to be dwindling, man. There can't be much going on with them anymore. So unlike, uh, unlike the Octo expansion, which I had nothing to gain by, uh, by gathering every resource... Octo Troopers! It's a real live enemy, and he's fuzzy because, you know, that was a thing that we saw in the trailers. But, uh, so I'm actually not going to be skipping any of the stuff this time. I will make sure that I get everything because uh, this game is obviously the relevant game at the moment. So I have everything to gain. There goes the bridge. And look at that. We're starting off easy. Just like back in Splatoon 2, man. It's been a long time since I got to rescue these little fish. Slow start. How'd, that, how'd you think of that, Cuttlefish? Well done, Agent 3. You remind me of a young Cuttlefish, heroically saving the day. Anyway, good news is you got a Zapfish. They're a source of energy on their own. But the better news is that the great Zapfish may be up ahead. Passed. Boom. Look at us go. Alright, Cuttlefish, let's do this. You don't rap anymore? Oh, right. I plum forgot about this fuzzy one. That blasted fuzzball is just wobbling back and forth, taunting us. Is that your small fry buddy chirping about something? You know, that species is rumored to have a big reaction to power eggs. Why don't you toss a few of them at the little scamp? Anything's worth a shot, right? All right, well, uh, come here, little buddy. All right, now throw him there and... Check it out. The Salmonids, you would think that they're the real enemy here. Look at it. Or look at that. It gobbled up the ooze. 
I mean, anyway, uh, it cleared a path for you. Go on. I mean, when you look at that, right? Look at little buddy over here. At the end of the final Splatfest, we had Chaos versus Order. And that was to determine what the theme of this game was going to be, basically, is the idea. But uh, we never did get an answer. Like, in 2020, the, uh, the promo, if you will, that they put out from Splatoon had a bunch of salmonids. And it said, SOS, save our salmonids. And it was like... Well, what, uh, what's going on here? I mean, yeah, we're fighting the Octarian Menace, as he would say. But, hey, look at that. A little decoration. Um, so, actually, that's going to be kind of cool to see uh, a bunch of stuff that I can use for, like, my locker and such. But the Octarian Menace, yeah, we took care of that. But at the same time, I mean, what was with the Salmonids? I think uh, I was a little worried there that maybe the Salmonids were being purged. And we weren't really being the good guys, especially working for Grizz. All right, let's do this. Sink into the ink and swim. Had to feel for the little guys. I mean, we steal their eggs all the time. It can't be exactly the good guy. I mean, I mean, what if, what if we're fueling all of our society off of salmonid eggs and we're making a big deal about the zapfish when, in in their own rights, it's the salmonids that are suffering. Bloop into the ink. All right. You can jump. All good. These are all basics for me. All right. I guess I'm not going to be a perfectionist, by the way. Although, yeah, I guess I should be a perfectionist because I do need, uh, I do need those. So, all right. Uh, which way do I want to go is the question to be had, and the answer is it doesn't really matter at this point. We're not doing, uh, we're not exactly doing high level stuff here. But that said, because that little, uh, that little salmonid needs some sustenance, some fuel, I need to do that. Nice. I love the, the the little crusty ooh. I do love I love that ink actually. I wish I had that ink. Um I love the little crusty rings have made a return. Nice. Checkpoint. Check it out, man. Back to back to checkpoints achieved. Take that, yeah, jerk. Hmm. I was gonna say, do you think it's worth going down there? I mean it looks like there's it looks like there's something down there. You know what? I'm going to take this guy out and I do a little exploring down here. I love the ink, though, that the Octarians have in this game. As a, as a poison-type aficionado in Pokemon and just a lover of the color purple, purples, greens, anything like that, this ink satisfies that need to have poisonous, venomous ink. Hmm. One must wonder. What's up here? Oh, okay. Well, uh, found it. I wasn't even looking for the zapfish, but hey. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I should probably grab these. Another easy level as we're getting started here. If you guys are watching the easy levels, thank you very much. I hope that this is satisfying in some aspect. <laughs> I know it's easy. Maybe I'll talk about uh, the things that haven't been easy, like doing big run or uh or the 100% uh, in the octo expansion um looking back at how i was in like 2017 those octarians look different they used a little more sm or they used to be a little more smooth if memory serves hey i ain't one to judge a deadly tentacle creature by its cover more power to them but uh, not really anyway as long as you're sporting that hero suit you can stand up to any octarian bearded or not did you even read the label? Here, I'll do it for you. You're wearing the latest in apocalyptic survival fashion, which, like I say, I was there for the final Splatfest, and supposedly that dealt with the direction of this game. I'm guessing it didn't. I'm guessing that they already had a vision in mind and were working on it, and when we did this final Splatfest, they already knew who the winner was going to be. That's a conspiracy, but I can't prove it. Avoid enemies and navigate the Splatlands in style with your own high-end sensor. Dry clean only. You gotta learn everything about your gear. That's another battle-tested rule of the battlefield. Cuttlefish, you're being surprisingly helpful, actually. When you were on the train, we were just kinda, like, you would just rap all the time. If you're ever feeling discombobulated, relax your hands for a sec. Actually, come to think of it, it wasn't just that. Uh, when you were on that train... The issue I had with you is that you were uh, you were just kind of sitting there and then eventually encouraging me to do things like jump in a blender. Careful here, it's a long way down and one false step. 
You gotta land down there. Make sure you got a safe way to a safe place to land. Always look before you leap. Nice little buddy. So do you think that maybe I'm gonna patch things up with the salmonids since I've got the little buddy? Maybe we're showing you know, in the last game we showed that Octos and Inklings can get along, not just Pearl and Marina, but all of them. So maybe now I'm showing that salmonids can get along with us. Box is locked. Keys, please. It's amazing to look back like I've officially, I believe at this point. No, no, it wouldn't be that long. I was going to say I've been playing sticks longer than I've, I mean, uh, I've been playing motion controls longer than I've been playing sticks. But that's not true, actually, because I started 2017 Splatoon 2 and I played sticks all the way to the end of Splatoon 2 when uh, 3 came out. So I've only been on sticks for like a year and a half. This reminds me a little bit, never mind, I was going to say, it reminds me a little bit of that level that was in the Octo Expansion, but that's probably going to be a very common feeling, to be honest, because it's literally just Splatoon, so that's why all the Splatoon levels are going to kind of blend together to a certain extent. Not even sure what I'm looking for, but I want to find it. So, I mean, for me, I have come a long way personally. Um, I know my rank doesn't reflect it. Rank takes a long time to play. And unfortunately, I just don't have the time that I would like to dedicate to to at least get to S rank to show that I can hang with the S rank players. And to be fair, I can't hang with the S, S rank players. Uh, the only way I can actually hang with S rank is if I have the Blob Lobber. That is the only weapon that I'm extremely proficient with. However, that said... I have, uh, I've definitely played with s rank players in a way, and even x rank players. Uh, some friends of mine that are x rank. Let's give little buddy a... Oh, he was telling me to do that, too. Um, so I've, I've got a lot more skill than I had back in Splatoon 2, and I'm hoping that's going to be reflected here in this gameplay as well. But I think I showed that off a little bit during Sp or the Octo Expansion. I keep calling it the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. Just Octo Expansion is fine. But I definitely think I showed that off. It was amazing. It felt awesome to finally have, like, any shred of skill at all. I was so used to just being horrible. The only thing that was a saving grace to all of that is back in Splatoon 2, everybody that I would stream with, and many of you guys watching this now were probably there back in the day, um, I would basically, just during Splatfests, I'd be the guy that was inking as much as I could possibly ink with an arrow spray, and you guys would be doing the killing. Now I get in on that killing action too. All those 100x matches and the 333x match that I have won. In fact, I haven't lost one since, uh, since uh, unless you count that disconnect one. Uh, I haven't lost one since the great Splatfest of Hell, um, the uh, final Splatfest. That little debacle was the last time I lost a 100x. So, oh yeah, I was going to say, little buddy, what are you doing? Uh, break those crates and get me, uh, get me, get me down. Yeah, do that so I can, I can, uh, yeah, get the rail, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, you can't get the rail. Can you get the rail? Here, let's, uh, let's do this. No, I don't think you can get the rail. Okay, well, what gets that rail, I wonder? All right, so the rail goes this way, and then it goes this way. So I gotta go backwards this way, that way, this way. Huh, interesting. I guess I just didn't see it there. There was a horrible clip I have from the Octo Expansion where I absolutely couldn't aim. Uh, it was horrible, dude. I was uh, I was jumping on the rail and just missing. And, I, and I'm and i kind of sort of still in that same boat where I, uh, I miss the rail just for no reason at all. And I hate these rails. These freaking rails, man. I wish they had a form of magnetism or gravity built in. So that when you get close enough to the rail, it just gives you the rail. But check it out. Test passed. Oh, wait. There's no tests. Haha, -ha, We're in three. Nice. Keep it up, Agent 3. You're making me proud. Yeah, you're making me confused by calling me Agent 3. Shouldn't I be Agent 5? Now, I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than you've already been ruffled, but those fuzzy Octarians are freaking me out. I think we ought to consider calling some backup. Let me just fire up the old communicator. Check, check. This is Cuttlefish over. Do you copy? Agent 2 over here. Oh, yeah. Agent 2 is your granddaughter. Wait, Gramps? Is that you? Where are you? Agent 1. This is Agent 2. Gramps has wandered off again. Over. Well, what are we waiting for, Agent 2? Let's collect him. Roger that. Stay fresh. 
Did they just hang up on me? Agents these days, am I right? So impatient. Cuddle, I found you. Dagnam it, this old thing is busted. Oh well. Come on, let's go. I wonder if the so the Octo expansion being DLC, do you think that they're gonna build the story off of the Octo expansion in any way, or do you think we're just standalone? I mean, at this point, we're just finding out that whoever the nefarious person is that I'm dealing with is going to be, um, that person is, I just got consumed by fuzzy ink. And look at me, now I'm fuzzy. Whoever the nefarious person is that we're going to be dealing with knows Cuttlefish. And therefore, I mean, the phone from Splatoon 2 or uh, from Octo Expansion could definitely still be... Oh, yeah, there we go. I was like, where's the blob? Um, that, that phone could still absolutely be pissed at Cuttlefish for what we went through with the Octo Expansion stopping his plans. What are they? Can we stop them? So if that phone is back, then, uh, you know what? We could absolutely still be in for it. I mean, that would be a direct, uh, a direct play on the Octo Expansion in the story. I did like how at the end of the Octo Expansion... The, uh, the phone said, my reunion, so close, or something like that. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't, I don't even, yeah, I don't think in the recording I even said anything about it. But watching it back, I was like, I should totally put a picture of Sephiroth there and be like, my reunion. Or actually, not even Sephiroth. I would put Kadaj and be my reunion. I bet you're dying to watch. But uh, I thought, nah, I'm not going to do that. But the, uh, the thumbnail that I made for the fourth episode of that Octo Expansion playthrough... That was hilarious. I hope, anyways. I thought it was funny, but that's because I made it. Nice. Alright. Nice inking. Well, so far, we have not faced any challenges here in New Agent 3. Which, New Agent 3 is actually not canon. Like, uh, I don't have a look. This is just my inkling. So, in this regard, like, I wonder if I was an Octo. Would it? Yeah, if I was an Octo, I have to assume that I'd be an Octo. But either way, so the new Agent 3, we're not going off of, like, manga characters here where, there, you know, there is a canon. There is what does Agent 3 look like? What does Agent 4 look like? How do they act? That kind of thing. This time, it's literally just player user interface. So, in this case, I'm the main character. Me. Like, I have selected everything about the main character, the new Agent 3. So, to an extent, I actually don't like that. I like when the story has characters written. That way, there is a cannon, you know? But, ah, I'm good with it. We'll be all right. All right, where was I looking? Well done. Looks like the whole mess of uh, of piles of goo and all that crap. I'm just, hold on one second here. There we go. Uh, it's all moving up. Die. 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 Easy. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. Did not. Let's go. Ah, these early stages. Hey, at least the armor looks a little more integrated. It was kind of funny when it was just a helmet that you stuck on, you know? Well done, Agent 3. That ought to be the last kettle. But do you see anything else that looks fishy around here? Well, as soon as you give me control of my character again, sure, I'll go check it out. Anything else fishy? Whoops. Sorry, little buddy. I was going to say, did I just blow? No, I didn't. I was going to say, for a second, I thought I just blew a thousand. I'm like, dude, what the heck? Those power eggs are just, you know, waiting around for me. I have to seek those out, man. I can't be wasting them. Incoming, something's coming. Wait, it's a little early for this, don't you think? You're back again? <laughs> I finally found you, cuttlefish. My Octarian troops have gone missing, and I know you're behind it. Okay, well, you're not the big bad guy, clearly. You're just the bad guy. I can't believe this. You're, the, you're supposed to be the final boss, Octavio. What are you doing? And why do you look like you have an explorer's hat on now? There he blows! It's DJ Octavio. Up to your old tricks, eh? Give the great Zapfish back. Agent 3, this dirty DJ is the headliner of the entire Octarian army. Take him out. Quit spewing nonsense and listen up. I'm about to drop my latest hit. Right on your smug little face. 
octobotkingl3.gs. All right, Octavio. Incoming punch. Shoot it back towards him. Dude, this is literally... I, I feel like I've just time-traveled here. I remember uh, I remember the fight from Splatoon, through, Splatoon 2 like it was yesterday. It was cool, too, man. I loved that. That Callie and Maria and Marina and... Uh, sorry. Callie, Marina, Pearl, and... Uh-oh. And Mary... That, that was that was a cool little fight, man. I, I like that little scrap. That was cool. Uh, you got to use that. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, that one I can't uh, do anything about. But uh, nice. I uh, I remember that, like using the rainmaker to shoot him at the end. That was a really cool fight. It'd be cool, you know what? Maybe uh, I know that Splatoon Two didn't really go into the Octo expansion. Oh, there he is, dude. Uh, the Octo expansion didn't really have uh, any direct play off of Octavio. In fact, he didn't show up at all. Think my beat sucked? Then you'll love this. I, uh, ooh, Inkvac. You're supposed to shoot him when he when he thinks he's safe from the Inkvac. Oh, crap. He's using an Inkvac. Don't let it suck up your ink. Well, yeah, it's just like any other uh, player, anybody that's playing in uh, Splatoon 3. When they use the ink vac, you just shoot the crap out of them when uh, when they think they're safe. Can you throw something in there to jam it up? How about little buddy? Check it out. Go, little buddy, go. Oh, it's a perfect fit. Can't. Vacuum. All right, let's see where you at. I'm surprised little buddies even like, are, are we safe in doing that? I mean, he's just a small fry, man. He can't take but even a measly one little hit. Like those things, uh, the only reason that they're a pain is because there's a hundred of them at a time. Small fry got launched back out. All right, let's see. Octavio, it's 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 almost kind of weird that you went from final boss to first boss. Go, little buddy, go! <laughs> nice. Yeah, I liked. Uh, I definitely liked the final boss of Splatoon 2 for that reason. In fact, I, uh, what I was saying earlier is I kind of feel like maybe it, because there was such a lag between me playing Splatoon 2 and me uh, and me doing the Octo expansion, it would have been, oh, oh, splash down in your face, man. I've been wanting to do that. That was fun. Um, I have, uh, now you've made me mad. It would have been kind of nice to experience the Splatoon 2 final boss, Octavio, of course, uh, right before I went into... What does that do? Oh, interesting. Okay, you've got wave breakers. His slap attack sends out shock waves. Jump over those. Well, maybe I'll jump into them, huh? Crap, I guess I uh, I thought I timed it a little better than that. Nice. I mean, it really is just like uh, the final boss of Splatoon 2, only in this case... Um, it's uh, the first boss, so obviously things are a lot easier than they were back then. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, li I like the callback. Put it that way. And now we're getting a little bit of the lore of, like, first off, are the Octarians... Like, what what's left of the Octarian army? The, uh, the Octarian menace, as he says. Go, little buddy, go! Crap. <laughs> I like how his nose literally does look like the uh, the nose of uh, the vacuum attachments that you see, those uh, vacuum cleaners that have those little crevice tools. All right, Octavio, we done? Oh, yeah, we done. Every time, so sad. Later, Octavio. Now, the question is, is he coming back or is he done this time? Cuttlefish, you need to do what you need to do here. Finish him off once and for all, man. Right, right, right between the eyes. It's time to end this 50-year-old duel. No fair. Your gear is way too strong. You put on a weak show, Octavio. Your set list is getting old. 
Or maybe it's just you. Seriously, that was too easy. It's like you weren't even using the great Zapfish's power. Mute it, fool. I didn't steal the Zapfish this time. Well, that would explain a thing or two. What? You didn't? But if it wasn't you, then who was it? Oh, a third enemy has entered the chat, huh? Fuzzy Ooze. Oh, Octavio, dude. Uh, not just Octavio. I think we just got eaten, too. Agent 3, help me. Ooh. Look at that. We've got ourselves a little nice little plot twist. Hey, check it out. How you guys doing? Splatfest is coming up next week. Nintendo Presents. All right, well, they're here to help us out. We got new, uh, there's no more off the hook here. This time we've got Splatoon 3. There it is. Snow, which is ironic because we saw the Splatlands for all the promos, but look at us here. We got a rocket ship. We've got snow. We got fuzzy things, tendrils, entities. Well, little buddy. Looks like we've really got ourselves into... What, where did you go? Yeah, I was going to say, you just jumped off into the water. Well, give me one sec here. I'm going to grab a sip of my coffee and check uh, the recording really quickly. All right, I'm good now. I'm back. First off, I'm kinda, it's kind of weird. Like, Well, no, I was going to say I'm holding my gun a little weird, but I guess I'm not. So we've got more remnants of the human society from... I think they went extinct, they said, 10,000 years ago. And look at that. We've even got uh, the heads from uh, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. Oh, yeah, we're going to be working with Deep Cut this time. Hey, speaking of that, Agent 3 over here. Is that the original Agent 3? Look at that. Woo, I'm so glad you're all right. So what are we calling Agent 3? Like, and why does she look pissed? You are Agent 3, right? Gramps fully enlisted you and your small fry. Yeah, I knew it. I see the look in your eyes that he's always looking for. Well, it's nice to meet you. I guess we should introduce ourselves. Agent 3 is literally like, you took my name, man. Screw you. I'm Agent 1 of the new Squid Beaks Platoon. I'm Agent 2. I don't talk. Come on, Agent 2. Get pumped. Anyway, one last crew member to introduce. This is our captain. You took my name, you bastard. We're the new, new Squid Beak Platoon. I'm down. Agent 2. Anyway, it looks like you and Gramps got separated in that fall. This place is huge, and it's filled with that horrible fuzzy ooze stuff. And now we have to find Gramps before he, like, tastes it or something. You make it sound like it's not going to be fun. But seriously, help us look for Gramps. So, okay, so you're no longer Agent 3. You're just Captain? And then Cuttlefish isn't Captain Cuttlefish. He's just Cuttlefish now, I'm assuming. So, uh, oh, they're in. Probably just too excited about looking for someone else's grandpa to speak. So, Gramps reeled in a new Agent 3. Glad to have you. <laughs> All right, well, this is, uh, we've never been here before either, but it's our tour anyway. We think this place is called Alterna. Who knew it would be beneath the crater this whole time? We count six different islands. What should we call them? Sites or something? Uh, are you even going to mention the humongous rocket over there? Look at that. Way to steal my thunder. Anyway, we put a tracking device on Gramps, as one does. But now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Agent 3, your mission is to check out three of those places. We upgraded your map a little bit. Tell us how you love it. Now it tracks places you've already visited and lights up when you're near anything interesting. Like when I'm nearby? Or buried treasure, I guess. We're here to look for Gramps, not treasure. And I hardly think Agent 3 needs a Cali tracker anyway. Wait, Agent 3 is totally out of power eggs. Did you lose them all in that fall? Yikes, your hero suit is all messed up too. Oh, don't be dramatic. Oh, dude, I love this. I mean, sure, Agent 3 will have to collect power eggs and upgrade from scratch. Hmm, I guess an explanation would help. First, you need Sardinium to unlock access to different types of upgrades. Then you can spend upgrade points to do actual upgrading. You guys know I'm not going to do any crazy challenge like no upgrades and speed running. 
I'm gonna just, it's a straight playthrough. Nothing fancy is going on here. There's gotta be some Sardinium down here in Alterna, right? If anyone can find it, it's Agent 3. Wait, did you tell Agent 3 how to actually get upgrade points? No? I'm on it. Agent 3, just ink lots of stuff and find items. I guess it isn't rocket science, which is a shame because it seems like you might need some rocket science. Actually, rocket science ain't that bad. It's the engineering that sucks. Never mind for that now. I'm getting a strong Gramps-like signal from over there in the next site. Well, check it out. Squid Sisters Camp. All right, so Off the Hook is probably not involved at all with this game if I had to take a guess. Well, now maybe Off the Hook will make an appearance. Um, I lost my shirt for some reason, and I gained, uh, uh, well, whatever that is. And, uh, and I'm guessing, so when, uh, when Deep Cut comes in, they're gonna probably do something like Agent 3 did, where I'm in trouble, and all of a sudden, boom, and then they introduce themselves. We're here. We're the new, you know, Deep Cut, and they're here to help and do some crazy stuff. Oh, uh, the captain's mumbling again. This wasn't because of Octavio, was it? How was Gramps, or how was Gramps when you were here with him in the crater? Someone's barely paying attention. I mean, here if you want to talk, if someone's paying attention. Agent 2 says it says she can look at the spreadsheets all day and not get a headache. Huh, look at that. Check it out. They got coffee? I've got coffee. Well, let's just wander around. That's unfortunate. I wanted to go explore. Huh. Kind of interesting. Look at this. These heads look like they, I mean, they, they, they go out of their way to make the texture look as it, and appear as if these have been 3D printed. Interesting. I don't know if that will have anything to do with anything, but I'm down for it. Observing a little bit of the detail anyways. Obviously, we've got uh, what I can only assume used to be barrels of fuel. Red, and, er, red is the oxidizer. Blue is the reducing agent. And can't do anything about that right now. All right. Well, I say I continue on. Since that was literally just the uh, the intro, I will continue to go. Get to know Alterna, your only choice. I definitely dig this interface a lot more. This is really cool. Do you hear something? Activated. System check. Okay. Authentication. All systems. Nominal. Commencing biometric scan. Scan complete. No matches found. Commencing registration sequence. Oh, no. Good day. My name is Orca. I am what you might call a navigation system for Alterna citizens. Whoa, what, where's that voice coming from? I don't like robotic voices, man. Uh, last time that happened, I got thrown into a blender. Welcome to Alterna, citizen. Please enter your identification to proceed. It's like it's setting up a phone for the first time. Don't use that term phone. I just had a very rough experience with a phone. I guess just follow the instructions, Agent 3. Processing, processing, ding. Your name has been accepted. Thank you for registering, Agent 3. Looks like you're official, Agent 3. My circuits are designed to measure your intellectual and physical prowess as demonstrated by your ability to complete missions throughout Alterna. In each mission, you must reach a goal mechanism or complete an objective. Extraordinary citizens will complete many missions and receive power eggs. You can expect a substantial power egg payday in particular for this first mission. May your enthusiasm result in your success, citizen. Is all this going to be on the test? Because all I really heard was power eggs. That seems like an important part. We need plenty of those if we're going to find Gramps. One last thing, as you complete missions and become an ever more exceptional citizen, you will naturally gain increased access to the Alterna Log. Do not attempt to share the Alterna Log without permission. Please handle the information with care, and please consider this a threat. Have a nice day. Alterna Log, huh? Well, there's some, something added to your menu. Okay, so we're doing the chat logs again, basically. But I won't. I guess all we can do for now is collect power eggs. I mean... All you can do, Agent 3. Equipment initializing. Please select a weapon. I was just wondering why I can move the uh, the log, but I can't actually. I mean, I'm just picking a weapon. You give me one weapon. The mission will begin as soon as you pass through that gate. If power eggs are required, you will be given an opportunity to make your payment. 
Initialization complete. Data harvesting and analysis commencing. Best of luck, Agent 3. So that's it then? Come on, Agent 3, let's get moving. Dude, <laughs> we are straight up going Octo Expansion on this. I got decontaminated and I'm good to go. All right, Alternator, let's see what you're made of. Straight up Octo Expansion, here we go. They uh, they definitely, they took a lot of influence from what they did right on the Octo Expansion. I missed, I missed the ring. And now I can't get it. All right, let's do this. All right, so we've got the Flutter there, or I should say we've got the, uh, the Spigot there. And then we've got, uh, whatever this is. Interesting. Oh, that was fun. I was there for it. Uh, I'm, I'm quite amused by that. I feel good about that. Probably should have done that a little better. I need those rings. The power eggs are important now. Last time they were just for random stuff. Is that a, what do we got here? I was going to say, is that, okay. For a second, I thought, uh, I wasn't sure what I thought. Whoops. It looked like a stinger at first is why I was like, what the heck? All right, little buddy, get him. Whoops. All right, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just use the Trizuka. I should take the Trizuka with me, but eh, we'll be all right. All right, so the question is, do I want to go back and get that ring? You know what? Let me, uh, let me just run back here really quickly. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to make sure I'm getting as many power eggs as I can because I'm going to need them. So I uh, definitely don't want to get in a position where I don't have power eggs and I need them. Uh, yeah, you know what? It looks like, yeah, I can't take it with me because the only way to get off of this thing is if I use the Trizuka. Which is quite unfortunate. I would have liked to use that Trizuka or keep it in my back pocket whenever I needed it. All right, let's go. All right, so I got some upgrades going on here. Go, little buddy. Get him. Whoops. Oh, come back. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait. Maybe I did mean to do that. Check it out. All right. Checkpoint achieved. Got another key. All right, little buddy. Get him. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to fall because that's uh, that. Uh, it's a squeegee. Yes, it is a squeegee. Unfortunately for me, I wanted to get those rings. So maybe I'll go back and get those rings. Uh, we'll see in a sec here. Let me see where this takes me. At least these little squeegees aren't as bad. Do I, can I? Can I have two? Yeah, I can have two at the same time. That's all the keys. They're yours. All right. Well, give me one sec to at least grab those rings because. They uh, they kind of mean something right now, so, and I don't want to. Yeah, I want to come back down here. You found a bounce pad. I miss shifty stations because those little bounce pads were uh, a fun little quirk that I enjoyed. Also, yes, I absolutely can hold multiple keys because I didn't notice them down there in the uh, in the interface. All right, so first things first, we're going to jump through here. And then that box right there, I'm going to go grab that because, yeah, little buddy, why don't you, why don't you take care of that thing? There we go. Nicely done. All right. Keys acquired. Problem solved. Let's go to the main one. First vault is open for business. Second vault is also open. Final vault, and look at that. My first win in the actual Splatoon 3 stage is not just the intro. Mission complete. Nice. Dude, I'm really rocking it over here. All right, what you got, Callie? Don't be shy with your ink. Splat everywhere. Fill up that gauge. Upgrade your points. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess there's going to be hidden stuff, isn't there? No, there's, it's, it's, yeah, there it is. It is. All right. So hold on. Hold on. We got an item here. Um, map. Hero gear. So I can upgrade, huh? I can, I can go ahead and unlock one of these. 
So I've got special charge up increases the rate your special gauge fills. Small fries HP. Oh, I thought I had one. Never mind. Site one. Oh, that that okay, my bad. Archive. Sunken scrolls alterna logs. I'll open up the alterna logs in a little bit. That way I get a, a just a little feel of it. Actually, you know what? Yeah, why don't we why don't we do the uh the alterna log right now? Let's check this out. Log one. Um that it, it's the fall of humanity and that really helps. So okay, cool. <laughs> Sunken Scrolls, which you know I always love log books like this. That's what uh, Legends Archaeus was uh, so good about. I loved it. Anything that looks like log books from a treasure journey, I'm on board, dude. I am way on board. And I got one. Check it out. Visit a sparkling city of chaos, the hottest place in the Splatlands. Anarchy Avenue. Walk it, feel it, live it. Special collection. Walk the Splatsville Walk, page 54. Sweet. Ooh, sparkles. All right, so we've got two ways we can go, it looks like. Actually, we've got several ways we can go. Okay, well, uh... Do I waste my... I don't know if I... I, I can't decide. It's not giving me a number. You would, uh, you would kind of expect a number out of these things. Nice. Power eggs. Can't have too many. Well, my concern is I don't want to... Ah, screw it. Let's use it. Pretty sure you don't have enough power eggs. Well, at least I didn't waste them. That's good by me. All right, what'd I get for this? Uh, obviously a whole lot of nothing. It's parts of a hole here. So, all right, well, let's, let's go. Let's dive right into it. Octopods at rest tend to flip out. Nido at rest tends to stay at rest until given a very, very good reason not to. All right, so we've got Hero Gear, Brella, and you. Eh, take the recommended. Let's go. I'm not. I'm used to uh, coming over to Cucumber here and asking him what's up, but obviously there's no Cucumber this time. All right. So, I can take a look and see what's up ahead, huh? I dig that. I'm also admiring what's around me. Yeah, they, they took so much influence from uh, Octo Expansion. They know exactly what they did right. You guys are really fun. In fact, I, I, you seem familiar. These, these little guys seem familiar. I, I think they were there in the original uh, Splatoon 2, but I don't remember seeing them in Octo Expansion. I uh, grab some gear. Let's go. If I were there, well, don't mind me. Uh, I'm gonna do things my way. So don't, uh, don't worry. Don't fret. Sweet. I was going to say, at first I was like, maybe I should be worried about this, but no, I'm good. Uh, uh-oh. Okay. I was thinking about using my splashdown. I'm like, nah, I'll, uh, I'll hold that off for a sec. I've got my splashdown, and you know what? Maybe, nah, that thing charges decent, I'm sure, but, uh, I'll, I'll save it for when I need it. I will spam that splashdown all day, but not at the exact moment. I'm going to be slightly smart about it. Or at least I'm going to try to be. Final checkpoint. Check it out. Here we go. All right. You guys are fools. And your existence is tragic in every way because you literally exist to explode. All right. So if I throw a little buddy, what happens? Oh, I, I think uh, I think I might have accidentally just killed little buddy. I mean, I knew he had HP, but I thought, oh, there he is. He comes back to me. Yeah, he, he's good. He's good people. You got this, little buddy. You can die, but you're not, like, that vulnerable. There we go. That's how we do it. 
Mission complete. Sweet. All right, so I guess nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I'm not going to try to do any crazy challenges or anything. I'm just going to go right into this to the next one. What caused the Big Bang? You did. Oh, no, 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 not knee leader. Okay, well, you know what? It's a new day. I, I'm a no-scope kind of guy. Let's go. Check out my ink color, man. Love it. All right, little buddy, let's do this. What caused the Big Bang? Are you implying something that I'm not aware of? Ooh, this is cool. This is, uh... I like this. It, it, so are there... Mission failed! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh! We're doing that crap again, huh? We're doing the Squid Games thing, which Squid Games must have gotten that from us. I didn't read the log, by the way, or the missions. Uh, or I would have known that you have to blast them all at the same time. But yeah, mission failed. We're doing this crap again. So that thing around my neck is just a bomb. Thanks. I really appreciate that. It feels so comfy and comforting that you strapped a bomb around my neck. And if I fail a simple mission, I die. I mean, literally, we're going, uh, we're going Octo Expansion with this. You're worse than Sea Cucumber. Okay. All good. Upgrade point achieved. All right, sweet. Well, let's see. I've got, uh, oh, I've got a lot. Check it out. When he finishes eating this, he better turn into the Kohozuna. When he gets, like, charged up really well. Oh, it's one of those, uh, oh, a Sardinium. Look at that. Check it out. Ooh, sparkles. Um, that piece of equipment there, I forget. Oh, no, that's just a station. Never mind. I thought it was a, I thought it was like a, uh, those snow wreckers you see. Yeah, let's just go to this one. It's called Relic Restoration. Explosher. You know what? I think I don't remember using and I have an entry fee. I don't remember using an Explosher in the entire Octo expansion. But that said, check out this ink color as well. I love this ink color. All right, got some burst bombs as well. So here we go. Cover as much ink as you can. And I thought Callie had a big head. You're supposed to ink it up? Uh, okay, I don't ask questions. Yeah, I guess uh, that's pretty much it. You just ink everything up. For a sec, I thought it was the... Oh, it is the head. Okay. You've inked in excess of 20% uh, of all surfaces. Perhaps the platform something something. Wait. Hold on. The Explosher uses so much ink, man. All right, here we go. So basically, we're, uh, we're doing the Octo Expansion finale right here. Is what this is. Nice. All right. Maybe not so nice. Couldn't reach that, could I? Let's throw a burst bomb down there. Eh, burst bomb's crap for this. You're about halfway there. Really? I felt like I was doing a little better than half, but okay. All right. At least there's no time limit. That would uh, that would definitely make this a little more difficult. How how precise do I have to get this? Do I get the chin like uh, aftershave here? And right there, you missed a spot, you know. Dude, there's nothing worse right now. My freaking razor blade has uh, a dull blade, and I thought it was going to... I didn't realize I, I was on my last blade. And this is so random, but it was I'm on my last blade, and basically the thing is just like, sucks now. I'm like, dude, that blade didn't last. That thing was supposed to... It lasted like a quarter of the time that the other blades did. I'm like, man, what a... What a quality control debunk, uh, debunkle, debacle they had there. That sucked, man. That really sucked. All right, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and get your, your head right there. Surely it wasn't Agent 1. What was that supposed to mean? All right, let's see. I don't even think I need the third floor for this. No, I do need the third floor. I was going to say, I could literally just finish this up without the third floor because uh, your forehead is... 
Not that hard to get. All right, so got a bald guy here. There we go. Forehead. And when do I get test passed? All right, it's not test passed. Really good coverage. It's uh, mission complete, not test passed. Yeah, it looks really good. All right, we're good? Yeah, I think we're good. Sweet. Well, that was... Uh, that was amusing anyways. Mission complete. Nice. All right. I should probably do some upgrading, but eh, we'll hold off for a sec. All right. So I've got, uh, I've got plenty of these. So let's go ahead and eat this up. Got a decoration. Uh, sweet. Okay, so yeah, it is a it is a snow wrecker. All right, it looked like a mobile station of some kind, but it is it's a snow wrecker. All right, have at it. Looks like there was a whole lot of nothing there. And oh, I was gonna say there's gotta be a way to get up here. I don't know why I thought that was the blob. Ooh, interesting. I was gonna say that's. Uh, I I thought that was a huge giant piece, but it's not. All right, finish this up, whatever it may be. Nice. All right, so, huh? That did a whole lot of nothing. I kind of feel like I wasted my time with that one. All right, well, let's go to this one. It's the strings, the thing. All right, pop in my main. Let's go. Try Stringer with a curling bomb. Dude, I am here for it. Man, these ink colors are awesome. All right. I got a bomb strapped to my neck again. Let's go. Who is doing that to me, I wonder? I was going to say, you don't need to tell me twice. I know exactly what I'm doing with this weapon. Whoop. Dodge that. Little, uh... I love doing the, the spray and pray technique. That's... That's got to be my favorite for for uh, using this weapon is when uh, somebody realizes that you're spraying praying and they realize they get overwhelmed and they have to back up because it's hilarious just seeing that uh, that need to back up. All right, here we go. Kind of an awkward aiming there, but I see what they're going for, so I'm trying to I'm trying to play their game. Sweet. Oh, I thought that was the end for a second. <laughs> All right, I see the end anyways, but we're uh, we're close, but we're not that close. About halfway done, not even. Uh, I think that might be it, actually. All good. Huh. You guys take more of a hit than I thought you would. I didn't realize that you guys were that hardy. What is this thing? Doesn't say what this does, but I do know that I need power eggs, so I can't just leave those this time. It was kind of uh, relaxing in uh, the last playthrough where I was like, ah, you know, no, no pressure. I don't need all this stuff. That was probably armor I just heard, but I don't need that either. I am so freaking good. I'm just kidding. I probably should be grabbing that, but whatever. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. What, what, back there, there was a thing I didn't do. Ah, oh, crap. I missed a bunch of stuff, didn't I? Sweet. All right, let's see. Hmm. Ooh. I was going to say, I just realized I don't have my special. 
Well, these guys I can just power, right? I yeah, I was going to say, it's going to take a while, but I can just knock their shields out. Or maybe we don't do that. Maybe we just do this instead. Like that. <laughs> I'm going to destroy that shield. I'm going to brute force it. I don't care what you have. All right, maybe I won't. Let me get some ink back. All right, brute force. Finally. Hmm. Yeah, you. Oh, look. Okay, he didn't fall for that. Crap. I was going to say, I'm out of ink, but I thought, okay, well, just give it a sec, but yeah. Alright, that takes care of him. Oh, we're done. Okay, well, I was having fun, but all right. Mission complete. Nice. All right. That was fun. You know what? More Tri-Stringer. I love that weapon. It's kind of funny when I first started this back in the test fire, when, uh, when we were doing the very first Splatfest test fire, I thought that the, the weapon I thought I would enjoy was the Splatana. Not that I don't enjoy it. I actually want to get better with that weapon. But I couldn't imagine enjoying the Tri-Stringer. It seemed too difficult. And now I love the Tri-Stringer and the Splatana is the one that I'm like, you know, I, someday I'm going to learn that weapon better. Don't know what all that was, but sweet. Check it out. Sardinium. Callie, what you got? Did you know that you can jump back to any previous locations? Yes, I did, actually. I absolutely knew that. All right, just going in order. Nothing crazy. Nothing uh, splat you on the flip side. I'm not doing anything here. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm not trying to do a crazy challenge either. I do want to know what that's what's in there. Oh, okay. That's what it is. I didn't follow the... Oh, but I can't. So, all right, well, we'll deal with that when we deal with that. Let's go. Spot you on the flip side. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so burst bombs are little buddy. Burst bombs are little buddy. Out with the Octarians and reach the goal. You know what? Let's let's go with a blaster. I never go with a blaster. Sanitize. Let's go. Decontaminate. Whoops, took a little damage there. Nice. All right. So we got to be a little careful with this. Oh, you survived, huh? Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, you survived a first bomb to the face. Ow. I knew I got hit there. I was like, oh, crap. I didn't see that he shot. It's too late to do anything. I hate when they jump out like that. I love when they jump out like that. Noise directly in the face, man. Sweet. So we've got, ooh, Zuka and what is that? That's 25. I was going to say, well, I was wondering how much that really was. Check it out, dude. All right. We're going to we're we're gonna do one of these with it, huh? This is like uh, a Riddler Batman stage. Oh, crap. I see that's what that's for, huh? You cleared that room like a boss. Yeah, I figured that uh, that's what the Zooka was for when it started getting a little dicey there. All right. Nice. Missed my burst bomb. I was going to say, when are you guys going to die? Give up. Nice. All right, let's go. Ooh. Nice. All right, we're good. Nothing crazy. Check it out. Oh, hi. And 
executed. Mission complete. Bow, 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 bow. Outwit him. Uh, it really wasn't about outwitting. That one was more like outreacting. Nice. All right. Got a definite uh, high amount of gear customization unlocked here. I will get to that when I get to that. I swear I will, though. For now, I'm just finishing up uh, the first recording here. I think I can keep going for a little while. Uh, yeah, how much do I want to go? Ah, let's go. Zip, splat, jump. Zip caster and my... So the zip caster is my primary and the weapon is my secondary? That's kind of strange. All right, here we go. So, do I, yeah, I was going to say, is it going to be uh, like the normal one where I return, or is it infinite? If it's infinite, that's pretty sweet. Nice. All right. Yeah, it's infinite, dude. I love it. Later. I was going to say, that's probably not exactly as they intended. They were probably looking for me to get a little cheeky with it, but hey. Dude, I love when I've got infinite specials like this, or just weird quirks like this is always fun. Alright, let's see what you got. Um, it's really weird that you lost sight of me when you were doing that. Like, I, I kind of messed that up, actually, and somehow it didn't, uh, it didn't fail. I, I somehow actually made it work, even though that wasn't as intended. Nice. Easy. All right. Checkpoint achieved. Let's go. Digging the music on this one. It's very, uh, very happy music. Very upbeat. And the aesthetic behind me, I love it. The lanterns while I'm sitting here ziplining. Ooh, I love this too. These pillars go up and up and up. Yeah, this is uh, this is literally like that uh, those rising platforms from Octo. Not that everything is, you know, I'm I'm comparing everything to. Uh oh, ooh, long jump. Please don't land in the water. That was close. We're just gonna have to be a little more careful about that. Just because I've got a zip caster. Although you know, I probably yeah, I can I can shoot the zip caster in midair. So I don't know why I'm not doing that too. That is a that is a valid move. I've got. All right, let's take a look around. Sweet. Look at my range, dude. I'm so here for this. All right, so if I want those power eggs, I, oh, you know, I could just... First off, I don't know why I came up here, actually. Go here. Oh, I can't reach that. Wow. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was going to say, that time I'm not going to mess up. All right, so. Nice. I knew that that wasn't going to kill me, but that would have been funny if I didn't look down and it was like, clunk, 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 dead. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, Let's go right there. Nice. Dude, I love this level. This is great. Great level design. All right, let's go to the top of that tower and see what's up here. Go that way, that way. So this looks optional here, but hey, optional is the best stuff. Let's find out what's up here. It was worth it. Haha, -ha, rewarded for my effort. That's what I like to see. Final checkpoint. Yep, I knew that was coming. Sweet. Hmm. I was going to say, you're not very tough, so I'm assuming that there's not much to fear there, huh? Check it out. All right, let's just uh, climb up to this. Even though I didn't have to do that, I could have just inked the hay. Mission complete. That was satisfying, dude.
very satisfied with that with that level. That was a really fun one. All right, so can't climb up there. No worries. What do you think is back here? Can climb up here. Check it out. Ooh, look at that art style. Long ago, our splatted lands were almost washed away by a great flood. All was presumed lost until three lights appeared and united to consume the disaster. Thankful for their salvation, the townsfolk threw a festival with three portable shrines. Huh. Well, yeah, give me that. Heck yeah. I was going to say, now i got to get myself out of here, which means... I have to do that. Huh. That's going to be a lot of work. I'm curious, uh, yeah, what, what does this one give me? Okay, that was worth it. Nice. Decorations. Well, actually, I think those decorations, like, I, I, I think I've seen those in the shop before. There we go. All right, so let's see what we got. Some speakers, some stuff, equipment, record players. All right. Did I get everything over there? That's the question to be had. And I think the answer is yes. Become one with your small fry. Huh. Okay, well, small fry it is. Let's do this. Neon ink, man. Love it. You don't have a weapon. I don't need a weapon. Haha, -ha. I guess it's small times fr it's time small fry is time to shine. Become one with your small fry. Tick tick. <laughs> Alright. Go get him, small fry. Interesting that, yeah, you can't really call Small Fry off, can you? Ah, oh, crap. He just keeps going and going and going. All right, let's, uh, I was going to say he can't really ink, can he? There you go. Try again, little buddy. All right, here we go. Nice. All right, up we go. These are just setting the foundations for, I'm sure, much more complicated versions of this when Small Fry will uh, will be a challenge to use. Nice. Uh-oh. Well, so much for that. Little further. Oh, you gave up just in time to mess me up anyways. All right, here we go. Key, return small fry to me. Let's go. Nice. All right, so now we have to decide. I could get a bird's eye view, but I think I kind of see where this is going. Oh, okay. Well, that was an interesting discovery. Okay. So when I want to pull them back, I just... Crap, I did it again. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> All right, let's pull him back. All right, here we go. And actually, yeah, I think that one's good. So we blow that one up. We explode the whole rail all that way. That one was not correct. That's why. Haha. -ha. No, small fry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that to you. You trusted me and I failed you. All right. So that's how we want that one. And I do, I, at first I was thinking, I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to be able to jump that. But those balloons obviously don't do that. They just dropped the key down for me. I thought I was going to have to go get it. Check it out. 
That was a lot of power eggs, man. I appreciate them throwing me a bone like that. All right. Solving puzzles out here. Whoops. All right, let's see what we got on this one. So, I'm going to... Okay, I yeah, okay, yeah, I see. I see what's up. Okay. All right, so, uh, one more tick on that, actually. Small fry? Okay. Up we go. Here we go. Whoa. See, we're going to have a much more complicated version of this later, I bet, and it's going to be really awesome. But also, I, I note this guy right here. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, I can't actually reach it. Nice. Okay. I thought Small Fry could retrieve that for me, but I suppose not. No worries, Small Fry. You did your best. Mission complete. Nice. All right. We're moving right along, aren't we? Man, there's a lot of stages. I love it. I dig it. And Small Fry pointing out these little guys for me. I dig that as well. Feels good to have a Small Fry. All right. So let's take a look here. Um, there is a chance I could make this jump if I want to. Ooh, look at that. You can make that jump. Sweet. Hmm. I'm just curious what's around. Alright, so what's this guy? Deadly Dance Hall. Jump, jump. I kind of miss the 80s references from, uh, from the phone. All right, so in this case, no weapon, no nothing, just me and the grace of luck and, and skill and dancing. All right, let's see what we got. Here it comes. All right, so let's see. Hmm. Oh, I just, okay, I, I see what you got to do. All right, for a second, I thought you had a puzzle to solve, but no, you're just, you're literally just dodging for a minute. Also back from the Octo Expansion, not to just continually drop the Octo Expansion because I just played it, so I'm like, oh my god, dude, I just played it, it's so great. Everyone else already played it five freaking years ago, whoa. But, uh, check it out, whoa, whoa. All right, dodgies, guys. Check it out. Yes. Oh, I think I just... Yeah, I, I accidentally just messed that one up. Sweet. Ow. Mission complete. Yeah, these are like those survival ones from Octo, man. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I see the progression of the stages. From the development as a whole, from Splatoon 2 to 3, I see how they got where they're at now. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so that's where I was, and that's where I'm going. So let's take a look here. Definitely want to get rid of this guy. And I have enough eggs that this is really not a challenge to do. I'm, uh, I'm going to be able to just devour all of this, I would assume, here shortly. And it's going to be so satisfying to do. He's got an afro, and now he is bald. Give me that. I remember all the early lockers. Everybody was using that freaking head. 1,400. Never mind. Maybe I can't devour as much as I thought. Dude, check that out, though. No, well, Might as well go down there and get it. I didn't want to have to climb back up, but hey. Sweet. Sardinium. You'd think that I would start upgrading. And I will. I will start upgrading very shortly here. All right, that gets me back up here anyways. Uh, then there's one of these. 
Ooh, check it out. Live wild, live free, do whatever we want. This town is a melting pot, so let's stir things up. I'm tired of folks pretending to be cool. I want to get so fired up that I boil over. Hey, you know, there's, there's, there is a thing in our modern society, a mantra, where you try so hard not to be cringe at all times that you end up living a very dull life because all you ever do is make sure that you won't be cringe. And that, that leads you to never do anything. Alright, let's see. So I took care of that, and then I came over here, and then I took care of all these. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't climb the heads. So, when I did that, I kind of ended that path, if you will. So I would come this way from here. There we go. I was like, man, I got to be able to hit this thing. Nice. Alright, let's see. 900 to go down there? There better be something good down there. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, it's just a path back here? What, I got nothing for that? Dude. Alright, well that was a waste. I should have been more mindful of what I was doing. Alright. Alright. Another gold record. Huh. Alright, so I guess the idea is only grab what I need. What do you got? Isn't the sky beautiful here? I mean, it's not a real sky. Does that make it less beautiful or not? Uh, it makes it a very controlling environment, put it that way. It's very augmented to my needs. They want me to obey. Alright, so. This one is doors, 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 more doors. I predict a maze. Go ahead, give me that hero gear. Let's go. Find the keys and reach the goal. Well, we're definitely uh, we're we're doing combat again, huh? You're not alone. Keep your eyes open and your mouth closed. Interesting. Look at the look at the pipeline there. Also, you. I had a feeling you were coming. That's just glass? Yeah, that's just pain glass. Alright. There's got to be a key around here. Well, it looks like I just found it. These early stages definitely set the precedent for like, hey, you're going to... Th like, this is the easy version. Wait till you see the hard one. It's going to be cool. I see a lot of potential for these levels. Huh, no combat or anything. Okay. Yeah, see, you can you can just tell, like, this is going to boil over into something crazy eventually. Uh, was there anything back here? There was. It was over here. Nice view of the goal. Yeah, except I, uh, I can't get there yet, but I will achieve. All right, so that's opening up. You know what? I want to use it. There we go. I love my shark. That has got to be my favorite special of all time for sure. And even though it's not particularly useful in uh, in the actual anarchy battles, um, to me, I love that shark no matter what. I forgot to go up here. Didn't realize. But the question is, how do I get up? And the answer is... Huh. Well, I definitely want to go through the hole, but now the question is, how do we get there? That's already inked. Oh, up here. That's how. The hole is to drop down, I bet. All right, my bad. I was looking at how to climb that thing, and I missed completely where I was actually going. Checkpoint. Final? Nope, just checkpoint. All right, let's grab a key. And then, yeah, we're definitely going to go back that way. All right, key. Key achieved. All right. So, with that in mind, though, I definitely know I can drop through the ceiling over there. So, let's go see if I can get over there or... Not yet. Can't get over there yet. But I can come down here. 
as inconvenient as it is, it's cool. Secret floors, man. All right. Now the question is, ooh. Reef slider? No, just armor on this one. Easy. Got a second key. All right, so I'm going a little out of order here. Not a worry. I didn't know that it was possible to go out of order, but I did, so. Can't do anything with little buddy over there. So now the question is, how do we get back? There we go. That's because this one. It, yeah, I was going to say, I don't even know where that goes. All I know is that it opens that up, and that's the final checkpoint, which I don't want to go to yet because I still have a key to use, so down we go. No, I'm not as far over as I thought I was. Uh, this is the point that I was going to have that other key. Got a little mixed up here. Look at that. All right, so the last key was... I went backwards. I went way backwards. I got mixed up. Look at that. I thought I had it right the first time, or I had it right the first time. I thought I was mixed up on the second go around, and actually I had it right. All right, so where was that one that I was looking for? It was down here, wasn't it? It's not down here. That's where I came from the last time. So where does that second key go? That goes to the finish. So I need to find where did I go. Yeah, oh, it was right here. Interesting. Where's this go? Checkpoint achieved. Ah. So we're just not going to use that area over there with the hole in the roof. I'm very confused about that. I would have uh, I would have definitely expected that we were going to use that. Come on. There we go. All right. Well, I guess that's it. We're done. I mean, I never went on the roof. There was a hole in the roof for no reason. All good. I'm I'm fine with that. I don't need to ask too many questions in this world. I just need to gain my goal, which is this thing. Check it out. Mission complete. Well, there she is. All right, Callie, what you got? Um, Actually, do I want to try and do the balloon thing yet? No, because... Well, let's see what she says. Solo albums are okay, but I think... Don't you think collabs are more fun? I think I need to eat this ink. This fuzzy, nasty crap. Um, And then if I want to do that balloon, I need to do it up here too, so... The question is, how do we get there? The answer is... Like that. All right, here we go. Couple of balloons there. Pop, pop. And I think there's probably a time limit on this if I had to guess. Alright, where does it go from there? It goes right here. Back to the start. And, oh, check it out. Greater Inkopolis and the Splatlands have wildly different methods of serving up clam mochi. Inkopolis style means a clam wrapped in mochi, but Splatlanders wrap the mochi with the clams. They also sprinkle on sesame seeds on top with hot sauce. Mmm, it's Splatsville clam to fame. I did all of that for this. Then again, it's like, uh, it's like Euros. They, uh, they vary, like wildly from region to region. Alright, how's the map doing here? Is there anything that I haven't done yet? Area of interest, parts unknown. Alright, so the parts unknown I'll have to get back to, but what's... Uh, hold it right there. What did I trigger? Who are you supposed to be? Hey, Deep Cut has arrived. We're not supposed to be anything. But I'll tell you who we are. Say it with sizzle. I'm Fry. You think you're cool? 
Uh, I'm Shiver. You're going to do this again where it's so fast. Uh, make money, get fish quick. Big man in the house. I was going to say, the dialogue was so fast. Splatlands are our turf. Only we may loot here. We are deep cut. Welcome to the gang. I love them. Whatever. What do you want, anyway? Wait, did you say deep cut? The deep cut from the Anarchy Splatcast thing? Yeah, it's called a day job. You should look into it. Banditing is our real passion. Nothing can stop us. Hate to interrupt, Fry, but have you looked around? We've hit the jackpot. Who knew this was here? All this time, treasure was just sitting under our crater. Now it's ours for the taking. Good eye, Shiver. So, are you going to try and stop us or what? Because you totally can't. We're, we're taking all of it for ourselves. Wow, it's like they rehearsed this whole thing. They're like real pros. Or they're real pros. Aw, they don't seem scared. What do you have to do to scare someone these days? I got a little bit scared. Not that anyone asked, but I'm over this conversation. The treasure is ours. I'd wish you luck, but I don't want to. Catch you later. Huh. Well, they're edgy. I think Small Fry is trying to tell you something. What do you got, Small Fry? Oh. I thought it was something to do with the story. My bad. Alright, so... I'm going to check this out before I clean up the entire area, but I'm assuming this goes to the end. Let me just... Yeah, let me, before I clean up the entire area, let me just see how this works. It feels like I'm right there with you, Agent 3. You're right. You can see a mysterious fuzzy rocket in the distance. Huh. That's a new sentence. We're almost there. Get ready. Cozy and safe. Huh. No boss, no nothing. This is the second site has a lot going on, doesn't it? Or this second site. Whoa, Agent 3. I'm getting a strong reading from way up there. Could be Gramps. Let's go check it out. Well, I would say that's probably a pretty good spot to leave it off. Thank you guys for watching. I seriously appreciate if you guys have watched this. This uh, giant super edit of Splatoon 3 might not be quite as exciting originally as uh, Splatoon 2 because the Octo expansion obviously was, well, it was something else. I'm starting off with the basics here. But regardless, this series will be fun, so I appreciate you guys. If you came in for even 10 seconds of it, I am seriously humble. My friends, humble and proud, I am Nito Marquis, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'll save it here, and uh, I'll pick up later.